Hi there, my name is Kendrick, and in this video, I'm gonna share my experience traveling to Lima, Peru, and doing a city tour there, and that video is gonna come up right now. I've been to Peru before, back in 2017, and back then I got a chance to see Machu Picchu, check out Cusco, and this time around in my most recent trip, I was supposed to go to Chile, but I ended up having two nights in Lima, Peru on my way there. So I decided that since I do have a full day in Lima, that I wanted to go explore the city. I had booked an accommodation through booking.com and the accommodation that I stayed at actually pick you up from the airport and will drive you back to the hostel. On top of that service, they also own a tour company which has a pretty reasonable price. I do believe I paid $35 US for a half day tour of Lima along with my girlfriend. So altogether, it was $70 US for each of us. Their service was really good because upon arriving in Lima, they pick us up from the airport. And the next day after we woke up and we were ready to explore, I was able to contact the owner of the company. His name is Carlos. And he pointed me out to their website, which is called perubestprice.com. And it has all the listings of the different tours that their company offers. Because we were there for such a short time, we decided to go with the Lima half day tour which I felt was a very good decision. The owner Carlos was also super friendly. I had mentioned to him that me and my girlfriend, we have not eaten lunch yet. So before we started the tour, he actually grabbed us from the accommodation that we were staying at and took us to a place where we can grab lunch. The lunch was awesome. The price was also pretty good. It was called menu. And in Peru, basically you get a three course meal. So you get like an appetizer, the entree and a dessert. After eating lunch, we proceeded to go to our first destination in the tour, which is gonna be the historical city center. Along the way in the historical city center, we got a chance to try some liquor and also to shop for souvenirs. Now, me and my girlfriend, we don't normally buy a lot of souvenirs, so we didn't end up buying any souvenirs, but we got to try one of their popular liquor, which is called Pisco Sour, and it was pretty good. Nearby the historical center of the city was the popular catacombs of San Francisco de Assis Church. So off we went into this catacombs and we got a chance to explore it. The owner of the company, Carlos, actually told us that this is not actually a catacombs. He's not sure why they called it a catacomb, but it's not really a catacomb. And you're not allowed to take a picture there, but it looks like no one really cares. So a lot of people were still taking pictures while we were in this catacombs. And it's a neat place to learn more about the history of the city of Lima. After checking out the catacombs, we went to a place called Huaca Hokiana. And basically this is an archeological site located in Lima. And it's just a quick stop to check it out. Actually, if I were to be honest, it's kind of lackluster. I was a little bit disappointed. I thought this was going to be the highlight, but whatever. The main highlight was actually the city center tour itself. And after we finished this last part, we went to the Love Park. So the Love Park has a panoramic view of the coastline of Lima. You can see a lot of couples here and, and there's a lot of public display of affection. I would say it's a decent place to check out. And I would say the highlight of it is actually the view of the coastline. The owner of the company, Carlos, had fantastic service. I do recommend that company if you want to go visit Peru and you want to go check out Machu Picchu or whatever. I'm not affiliated with Carlos, but if I go back to Lima again, I would definitely stay in his accommodation again. Actually, I did stay in his accommodation again because on my way back home to Canada, we had another overnight stay in Lima. So I stayed there another night. After we finished a tour, Carlos went and took us to a place where we can grab some dinner and that wrap up my tour of Lima. I would say that Lima is a place that I would go for a short layover or a stopover, but I would not stay there for too long because it's quite polluted in Lima. I think if you're exploring Peru, it's better to go to the other sites and just use Lima as the starting point and the end point. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments below, and don't forget to sign up to the Travel Free newsletter where you can get a test of cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on a around the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for that newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.